I read the value of a video is established within the first three seconds of that video. So I hope that was dramatic enough for you to last all the way through to the end, because the rest of it is nothing like what just happened. <laughs> So I'm sure you've guessed what this video is all about, as you have eyes and you can read the title of the video, but I'll follow trends and announce what this video is about. It's about this ugly mother f the Rico or Rico, 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 XF30 and the roll of Fomapan that I put through it. So sit back, relax and let me set the scene for you. So I've got up at three o'clock this morning to aim to climb Helvellyn. Can't see when I've got a torch on my face. Um, and let's just see how it goes. I still have too late. I'm missing the sunrise, so that sucks. I'm about halfway now, past the steepest bit. And there's the, uh, the finishing line up there. I will load my film soon. Fingers crossed it gets me. So I had full intentions to take the most beautiful sunrise photographs up on Helvellyn. But I was really slow and the sun rose and as I got closer to the peak I was just embraced by the wet, sludgy, cold heart belly of a cloud. Once I peaked, it was time to load the camera. So I acquired this thing off my father from many years ago, and I kind of remember it being around as a child, but now I've got it in my hands, I f***ing hate it. Like, it looks like Shrek and Gollum had a child, and then once it was born, they beat it. It is horrific. This camera was manufactured in the late 80s, early 90s. It takes two AA batteries and obviously it takes 35mm film. There's no adjustable aperture settings, there's just three set focal lengths, which is set manually on the front of the, the camera here, which explained by these little symbols. There's no DX reader, so you can actually set the ISO manually to four presets of 100, 200, 400, and 1000. So I've, I've been in the market to try and find a point and shoot camera that I can just slip in my pocket and carry around with me and have a bit more of a dynamic relationship with. So I thought I'd take this one out on a test and test it on the third highest peak in England, I think. What the f***? So, I also should explain I loaded Fomapan 200 into this little fatty and it's the first time I've shot Fomapan and I've got very strong opinions about this which I will wait until the end of the video to go into but Fomapan is a black and white 35mm film it is considered a budget film. I got mine for £4 from Analog Wonderland. FOMA was established in 1921 in Czech Republic. They have done all sorts of things like x-ray sheets, they're big in the medical, they do a lot of chemicals, they do security, so they're, they're quite an established company. The, the role I'm shooting is a 200 ISO, so, 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 so. So we just move on to the next bit, because I'm so bad at this.
One of the cool things of the XF30, I thought, and I hadn't shot with, was it has a self-timer, so you can actually set up the camera and take a photograph of yourself. If you know me, you know I don't have any friends, I don't go out with anybody. So it's a great opportunity for me to take those new Instagram display photos that make me look hella cool. Oh my god, you're so popular. I mean, granted, they were terrible self-timer photographs, but every now and then, I come out with a little banger. So the reason why I chose to hike Helvellyn was mainly because of Striding Edge. The There is a ridge that connects, I think it's from Patterdale, and it comes all the way up to Helvellyn. And I've seen so many videos and so many pictures, and it looks amazing. And I wanted to get my drone up and shoot it. I've been wanting to do it for such a long time. Unfortunately, the winds were ridiculously high and there was clouds, so I only managed to get it up for like a couple of seconds, which is the story of my life. really proud of how these came out considering they came from a budget film and a cheap crappy camera but whatever you be the judge on that oh jesus scrambling is a lot more difficult than it looks now i'm heading back up to helvellyn to hike down back to where I parked my car. Oh, a bath. I look like absolute sh don't I? <laughs> Things started to clear up on my way back, so I was just trying to finish the roll. I took some shots, which, uh, which I actually think came out really, really well once everything had cleared, so you could actually see things properly. So this Ricoh XF30, I unfortunately will not be shooting again. It's just too ugly and I just didn't have the feels with it. This was purely a one night stand between us and what an amazing experience it was. What an amazing one night stand I had. As sad as it sounds, like I just don't feel proud to have it on show and in my hands, like, I feel kind of embarrassed with it. 
So I will not be shooting with this again. However, it is a camera from my childhood, so it will be going on a shelf and it will be being looked at and constantly reminding me of the memories that we shared together. So now let me talk about Fomapan. This film roll, I feel, is completely underrated. I bought this film roll because I was told, yeah, buy a cheap one, put it through your camera, test it out, make sure it works, and then you can go and shoot good film. But what came out was these beautiful photographs which I absolutely have fallen in love with. And I, I was shocked that the quality of these photographs came out. Yeah, granted, they're a little bit grainy. Yeah, granted, it's a little bit soft, but it still produced something so... So something so beautiful. I just don't know why people aren't shooting it more. It's it's a great film. Or I don't know why people aren't singing and dancing about it. I, I I searched through Google and like watched some reviews on it, and no one is like enthusiastic about this film role whatsoever. Like like people are complaining that film is getting expensive. Look at what is cheap and look at what it produces it still produces amazing stuff. I just think we should sing and dance about them more. So I will be shooting more Fomapan and my bank account will probably be thanking me for that as well because it is cheap, but it's cheap and it's good. So win-win, win-win. I feel like I just went on a little rant then. I normally try and keep things light and salty. <laughs> okay.